What's going on everyone? Vampire Gaming here back with the video for our second favorite fire boy, Sabo, the new black yellow or red or um, yellow red leader releasing next week of the 19th of April. Uh, and this is probably the highest ceiling deck just overall with the release in my opinion because Luffy is pretty standard but Luffy isn't great until EBO 1 but this deck I feel like has big potential we're going to kind of talk about that and try it out here uh, but so he is Dawn X1 so he has the cheapest cost out of all the leaders and then once per turn you may add one character with a cost of 3 or higher with 7,000 power or higher to the top of your life face up Give up to one of your characters plus 2,000 until the start of your next turn, which allows you to swing very aggressively. But also on 6, you can go 5, swing 6, swing 7, add him to life. You're going to guarantee to get him back. And then on 8, you go 1 here, and then you play this. You go 7, you play Ace, Ace, Return, uh, bring him out. Then you go 7 again, and then you go 8 with your leader. And then you can do the same thing with Luffy as well, but it's not 7, it's 6. Um, but essentially going 2nd has a very strong play. You could also technically do it with Zoro too, play Zoro, attach 2, and then attach 1 to lead, and then go 7, 6, 7, and put Zoro into your life. Uh, so essentially just allowing you to get an extra hit for free and turning these cards into counter, but these specifically Ace and Luffy having huge power. Uh, this of course also allowing us to add a 2k and this Luffy and these Aces and we're kind of just playing Nami to get these even faster because being able to cycle through and be a 7k leader that just spams out rushers is huge. Uh, Luffy of course being on the weaker side, more of a finisher once they're at zero. Just because the 7, so when you're a 7k leader, this is the card that they will attack. But let's go ahead, uh, and then we're also playing just a small package. So we're playing kind of like both. Um, we're playing both, so we want to go ahead and just give this a try, see how it goes. But those, of course, like because you get that give another one power too, which is massively slept on. Now this is interesting. I don't play any blockers, but I can become a 7k leader. I'm still going to opt to go second just because I can regain life. And I do see this ace here, and we've got this. And we got a 2k, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm just going to keep this hand just because we've got this ace. So they're probably playing fortress build. I've got two searchers. I want to see this ace, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. Boom, so we've got this ace, so our eight turn is huge. We could even play Hiori, but we're going to go ahead, add this ace. Now we're going to play this Nami, and I can take this Luffy, or I can take a Zoro. If I play Zoro, I can play Zoro next turn, and just get that extra body, so we'll take... This would be nice, but we'll take we'll take Zoro from the table top. Oh, yes. Let's see if they just go eight. If they go eight, I'm just gonna take it. Sure. Hmm, I'm gonna trigger that. That's huge. Oh no, it did not trigger. What the heck? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can trash this. That was very weird. Um I'm going to trash if I just trash Zoro. Because I don't see another instance where I'm going to play this Zoro. Because next turn, I'm going to play the Ace and put him into my life. But this time, I'm going to put Lindbergh into my life. I'm going to swing 7, 7, put Lindbergh into my life. So, I'm going to get rid of Zoro. And then I'm going to boost him. Actually, I might go 5, 6, 7. Because I can attach one here, swing 5. And then I can also KO this, which is big. So I'm going to go 6, 5, 6, 7, 5. Just because this is going to take a bit of pressure off of me. And 
I'm gonna do this. Put Lindbergh. I give it to him. And then I'm gonna go five. So now I have three, so he can't just like swing huge and put me at one. I'm gonna get this back. I'm probably just gonna trash this again, but then my next turn I'm gonna play this ace. Put this ace in there. Maybe if I even just play Zoro and save Ace. No, I need Ace, because I need to put it in my life. No, I can just do Ace and make myself a 7k leader. Got two 2ks. We got the Morley. Can also play a Von Cobb, spam out the Morley. So it's going to go 8. I can gain another life. They only have 2. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. I'm just going to go up a life, and then I'll just take it. Okay, they just left two, so if I have a Gibson. Alright, we're going to go here. Oh, he's no good. He's no good. I didn't think this through. I didn't think it through chat. Uh, let's play this. I'm going to take another ace. Or I can get a 2k. I can take a 2k or I can take another ace. I'm going to take another ace. Uh, yeah. Two no counters. He's only got one attack, so this is probably fine. He's going to 6. He's going to 7. Limber's actually a huge card. Hody, hody, hody. Sure. Ten there. Yeah, I'm glad I got the other ace. Uh, honestly, I might even just make a push for game. Ten. I don't have enough counters, so he's gone. Go five. I will give him a long call. Did not realize Morley had no counter, so. That's worth noting. Because uh, I have three life. I could just go seven, eight. But I think I, I think I do the loop. No, I, I, I can't. I literally can't. Um, so I'm going to go pay three, play a Zoro, go seven, go eight. I'm going to add Zoro to my life. Or goes five, seven, seven. Five, seven, seven. Two on Zoro, go seven here. They can play Eustace next turn, which is a problem. Eustace, we have a problem. Because they'll have plenty of resources to do it. Seven, one, interesting. And then I'm going to go seven here. Him in life. Boost. And then go five. So I'm going to guarantee a card. So they're going to have six cards. Four after they play Eustace. I think that's fine. And I can make myself a 7k leader, which is slightly nice. And I can do a ton of sevens if I take their swing. Yeah, because it'll cost all that they have, because I'm above four now, so they can't use the ability. Uh, so it'll be eight, and then they have eight and five. I can choose to take that trash, and I can put this eight. I can play the ace. I guess if they play Eustace, I have to play differently. I take one of the hits. My only counter is this ace, though. 
rethinking morally in terms of cards to play, but okay, they're gonna attach one and they're gonna swing. They swing six, I take it, and then I just give them the Eustace, that'd be crazy. Oh, they gain it into the next turn. That's interesting. I guess they were cooked if I had the ace, huh? Six. I go down to one, I put it up to two. I think I'm cooked. I'll trigger trashing morally playing him because now you know I have no counter. Uh yeah, assuming he play he's hundred percent playing a Eustace here. I don't think there's any value in me triggering this. Cause he's probably gonna play Eustace in a body. So I will say no trigger. That swinging six was absolutely wild, but I probably just cut Morley. Oh, snap. I was not expecting that. Okay. Can I? What can I do? I can add this. Uh, is 10 10 spent? He left five up? Is that just due to inefficiencies? Because I can go seven, 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 one, two, one, two. I think the sevens is the best bet. So I will start off two, and I need two here. Seven, seven, eight, I think is just the best that I have. Because I can just KO this, right? Actually, yeah. So I just want to do that then. Actually, I think I just go 15. What the heck? I only played this. I go 15 with Lindbergh and just KO this. What? Hmm. Noah Gibson. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. But yeah, that was weird. That was weird. I thought they might have had a Eustace, but yeah. Um, probably cut the Morley, but let me know what you all think. Have you all tried this deck out? Uh, and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. If you can do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Uh, it helps me out a ton. I greatly appreciate it, and thank you all so much for watching.